Hi guys, Mike Ward here, and what we're gonna do today is probably gonna scare the crap out of you, but I do not want you to turn off this video just yet. Today, we are going to fillet a fish. It is super, super easy, and I can't tell you what a great feeling of satisfaction you will get once you fillet your first fish, and you will forever buy your fish whole again wherever they are available to you. But there's two other reasons. One is that when you buy a whole fish, you tend to get uh, a better quality of fish, a fresher fish. The reason being is that most stores and markets tend to put their whole fish out first because they know that customers are familiar with the idea of the clarity of the eyeballs, meaning fresher fish. And then when it gets a little bit less fresher, they'll take it out the back, they'll fill it, put the fillets back out, and you can't tell as easily whether it's fresh. It's normally always fine, but it's not quite as fresh as buying the whole fish. Second, it's cheaper. You typically get the whole fish for the price of the two fillets, so you get the bones to make a quick broth or a quick stock, or you can do what I do, which is just give the head to my kids, and they like putting their finger in the mouth, and they give it a name. They always seem to call it scales. So let's get started right now. Okay, what we have here is a beautiful Spanish mackerel. This guy probably weighs about two pounds and he cost me about four dollars. I can tell he's fresh because he's got a really kind of really firm texture to his flesh and his eyes are clear. So let's get started on this guy. Please, most importantly, use a very sharp knife. You will cut yourself less when you use a sharp knife, trust me. So cut behind his ear, all the way down to the bone. And just on one side of his spine, make a very small incision all the way down to the end. Let your knife do the work. You don't need to apply a lot of pressure if you have a sharp knife. You'll feel your knife running down the bones of the spine. Let the knife do the work and that fillet will just pull itself away like so. It is that simple. One beautiful fillet. Just tidy him up a little bit there. Now with Spanish mackerel and a lot of other similar fish, what you have is very small bones running down there. Now with larger fish like salmon, you could pull them out with a pair of tweezers. But on smaller fish like mackerel, what you can do is make a very tiny V incision just either side of those bones. Those bones will just come out in one little piece like that. Super simple. Beautiful. For a piece like that, I would tend to cut it in half. Maybe just whip off the tail and you have two gorgeous portions. Let's do the other side. Again, incision behind his ear, down to the bones, and very small incision along his spine, like so. Again, just let the knife do the work. That flesh will start to come away. Easy as that. And again, one more beautiful fillet. Tidy him up there. And again, you've got that very thin row of bones there, so a tiny little V incision. Just on either side of those little bones. From him, I've got four amazing adult-sized portions, each one maybe costing me a dollar each. Okay, we're standing the feelings of this poor bugger. You can't tell me that doesn't look like a lot of fun. Please try it yourself. It is that easy, I guarantee you. You will fall in love with the idea of filleting your own fish. Give me your thoughts on this video, and if there's anything you want me to try at all, send me a note, and I'll do my best to make it happen. And subscribe to my channel. I'll see you soon.